Hello, I'm Paul Rosenberg, and I am professor of endodontics at New York University College of Dentistry. I'm also author of numerous articles and textbook chapters on the subject of endodontic pain. My new textbook, titled Endodontic Pain, Diagnosis, Causes, Prevention, Management, was recently published by Springer. I have also practiced endodontics for many years. This segment of our Dense Ply series is focused on predicting which of our endodontics patients is most likely to have intravisit pain. Extensive research and numerous articles have been written on this subject, and I would like to focus on recently published research dealing with this matter. This is the citation of the article that I would like to discuss with you. A total of 500 single visit root canal treatments were completed by an endodontist. 500 questionnaires concerning pain were given to patients and 274 were returned. The results were interesting. The predictive model showed that the incidence of post-endodontic pain was lower when the treated tooth was not a molar. I think we can assume that the size of the tooth and the number of roots and root canals were a factor in the reasoning of why molars caused more of a problem than did a single rooted tooth. The study also found that periapical radiolucencies, when present, seem to be associated with a lower level of pain. We can assume on that information that the reason is that there was no longer vital tissue, live nerve tissue, in the root canal space. Another important factor is that the patient had no history of previous pain. Many other studies have found that the presence of previous pain in a patient is a very strong predictor of post-operative pain. And the last factor that was important was the absence of occlusal contact. Now there is a green arrow there, and that arrow is an indication that I feel that is an extremely important factor over which you have some degree of control. The results continued, and the predictive models showed that the probability of experiencing moderate or severe pain was higher with increasing age of the patient and in mandibular teeth. It was also found in the results that the probability of pain lasting more than two days was increased with the patient's age, decreased in males, and when a radiolucent lesion was present. The research that we have discussed is part of an extensive body of research on the subject of predicting pain in patients undergoing endodontic treatment. Probably due to different research methodologies, there are variations in the findings. While the article reviewed focused on occlusion, increased age, and molar teeth as factors related to intervisit pain, Others have emphasized the importance of pretreatment pain and high levels of anxiety as important factors. I hope you will find this information useful to you in your practice. Thank you and good luck.